And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Mickey Mantle, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So one out, nobody on. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. And it's fouled away. Crochet, he's known to have exceptional stuff. The strikeout number is usually way up there. However, he does have some issues with walks from time to time. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And, and because of that, the pitch count can get high and not consistently deep into the ball games like you would expect for a guy who can get so many swings and misses. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. And it's about One controlling ball. that stuff, right? I mean, he's got to harness all of that electric stuff and keep it at oh. least somewhat in the strike zone. Yeah, I'd say a guy like this sometimes needs to simplify the repertoire. Instead of trying to throw three and four pitches, just stick with two pitches that are very effective. Perhaps you can keep the pitch count down, get yourself deeper into the ball game. 2-2 two -two now. Three balls. Three Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Man at first, Mickey Mantle digs in now. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. You know, these Yankees did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this stop. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. There's a swing and a drive. Got it. Going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making it work hard. Base is empty one away. Digging in. Mickey Mantle. Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after. One down. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Robert moves under it. Two away now. Man at first. Mickey Mantle will hit next. Ground ball left side could be two. They get one on the ball. Two. 11-2 the final tally for Chris Singleton and our entire And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Saturday baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the New York Yankees. John Chomby and Chris Singleton on the call. And singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Mickey Mantle. Yeah, Boogie's one of the pillars. So just about set now, getting the nod on the mound, Nestor Cortez Jr. What do you look for here? 
Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trust it, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life in Miss Barrels at bats. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's bad. He wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two away with nobody on. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Mantle. And there's a foul ball. Mantle getting the start in center, batting in the cleanup spot. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. That one is absolutely belted. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. And a pitch. That misses, and the count is one and two. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Oh, that's, out. that's off the mark, and that's ball two. Already three runs across in the frame here in the second game of the series. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front. Oh, line drive not. Here's the 0-2. On the ground to the left. They get the force. And that is that. Two on with one out. Here is Yohan Moncada. Two on, one out. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. Both runners tagging from second and third. Fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. There you go. Nice little. Here's some real power at the plate. Mickey Mantle. Swung on, belted. Robert going back on it. Pulls it in on the warning track. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. On to the top of the fifth we go. Yankees six, and the White Sox one. Runner on at first with one gone. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homer here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a... And the throws offline, safe at third. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes, and now two gone. First and third, two away. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Left-hand batter waits. Whoa, Just that? missed. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> and that was Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to Got second. Him, out at second. That ends the inning. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
Welcome in, baseball fans, and here in New York. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. So the New York Yankees have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on him a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So one out with two aboard. Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. Judge on second. Mantle over at first with one away. Got him swinging. Two down. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt that like he should have had him look it, I think. Pitch. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. One ball, two strikes. That one ripped. This guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his. Now Two outs, that. runner at first. Mickey Mantle Mickey. stepping in now for the Yankees. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Mantle, the rangy center fielder, 24 years old. Let's remember a major part of his resume are those three MVP awards. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Yanks leave one as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. First and second now, one out. Mickey two, Mantle stepping three. in now for the Yankees. Mantle. Single and score back in the first. He's one for two. In the air right field on his way over. And makes the grab. Runner tags at second. Actually, he'll stay put. And there are two outs. So one out, nobody on. And up next for New York, Mickey Mantle. Ground ball right side. Throws the first in time. Now bad out. The designated hitter. John Carlo. Stanton. So two down. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. The White Sox trailing by two here in the third and final game of the series. Base hit center field.
clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner around second. To third. And the throws offline, safe at third. I can watch base hits like that. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. That ball misses one. the zone, ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That smacked on a line to center. That's out number two. The throw is wild and it gets away. The whole game, this team had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, and were able to get... Thank mm -hmm. you.